Welcome to a long division lesson, dividing a two-digit dividend by a one-digit divisor with a remainder. Now let's look at an example of the terms in division. Using our number sentence, 18 divided by 2 equals 9. 18, our dividend, 2, divisor, 9, our quotient. What do these terms mean? Dividend. This is the number that is being divided or broken down into smaller parts by the divisor. The divisor. This is the number that divides or breaks up the dividend into smaller parts. And quotient. This is the name of the smaller parts. Now, dividing or doing long division, we, there are steps, and to help us remember those steps, you can use the mnemonic device, David's mom sells beef roti. Again, David's mom sells beef roti. Now, using the first letter in each of those words in the mnemonic device helps us remember the steps. And the letters are D, M, S, B, and R. Now let's see the steps that these letters will help us to remember when we're doing a long division problem. So first step would be to divide. So D, divide. Step two, M, we have to multiply. Step 3, S, subtract. Step 4, bring down. And 5, repeat. So our mnemonic device, David's mom sells beef roti, helps us remember the steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat. Now let's divide a two digit dividend by one digit divisor. 82 divided by three using our steps. So here we have our numbers placed in our long division symbol. Here we have our divisor three on the outside and our dividend 82 inside of the division symbol here we have our steps now let's go to our first step which is divide we are going to be dividing our first digit in the dividend by our divisor three so we're asking ourselves how many groups of three can we get from eight we get Two. two groups of three from eight. Our next step will be to multiply. We are going to multiply those two groups by our divisor three. So we're going to multiply three times two. We get six. Our next step will be to subtract. So we're going to subtract that six from 8. So 8 taking 6 will give us 2. Now we're saying how many, we're comparing now how many groups of 3 can we get from that 2? We cannot. So this is where we go to our next step, bring down. Because 3 cannot go into 2. So we bring down that next 2. We now have 22. So now we can compare how many groups of 3 can we now get from that number 22. This is where we will have to repeat that process again. 3 from the times 3 can go into 22. 
seven times. So we can get seven groups of threes from 22. Next step would be for us to multiply. So we're multiplying that seven by three. That will give us 21. Let's move on to our next step, which will be to subtract. So we're going to subtract 21 from 22. When we subtract, we got 1. Now, let's see if we don't have any other numbers to bring down. The one and we can't bring down, so there's no repeating. So our problem ends here with our remainder 1. So our answer would be 27 remainder 1. That 27 remainder 1 would be our quotient.